when company uses the application this is oracle application this is erp by using this erp i have to buy whatever the items i want Toyota motor would require tires engine spare parts clutch brake assembly steering and iron plates iron plates we have different raw materials or require paint grease bearings axles so alloy wheels rims all these items you would require to manufacture a car does it mean that tata is going to manufacture rim tire engine no if you open any tata tata car you can see fiat engine what does it mean they are going to buy the fiat engine from fiat company they are going to buy mrf tires jk tires michelin tires all these tires they are going to buy from different vendors different suppliers they are buying and they are keeping in the inventory what is inventory it is nothing but your store room tata motor will maintain a store room where they will buy the items and they keep the items and whenever the manufacturing department or production department would require those items they will request those items and against that request store guy storekeeper will issue the material to production department and production department will take those items and assemble they will assemble the items to get the finished good that finished good is nothing but car and we have to manufacture a car you would require sub assemblies like engine brake assembly clutch assembly steering assembly all these are sub assemblies and what are raw materials bearing is a raw material tire is a raw material rim is a raw material so we have sub assemblies we have components you have raw materials and finally you are assembling all those raw materials components sub assemblies to get finished good now tell me if there is no purchase department in tata motor industry then who will buy all these raw materials nobody so there should be a purchase department purchase department will use purchasing module to raise the requisition what are the items they want they will raise and those requisitions they will make use of those requisitions and negotiate with the different suppliers in the market whenever you want to want to buy some item if you want to buy a laptop you will go to different suppliers and to know the price after knowing the price you are going to compare the price and who, who, whoever is giving the best price you are going there and you are confirming the order you are receiving the item and you are paying the amount right the similar way tata motor also will be having different vendors to supply the raw materials or sub assemblies or components so what are the items they want they have to put in one document that is the requirement that is the requisition that requisition talks about all the items which are required by the company once a requisition is created that requisition will be approved for approval you would require approval hierarchy that's what we are going to discuss today what is hierarchy it is simple if you are a buyer i am preparing a purchase order i am a buyer simply i am working as a buyer i am going to buy fiat engine sab assembly what is the engine cost with what price you are buying that will be the cost for you what is the difference between cost and price cost is without profit price is with profit that's it if you buy an item and you are selling that item to another customer any supermarket what they are doing nothing they are buying and they are adding some profit and they are selling to you that means with what price they bought it they bought it from supplier that becomes cost to the company now tata motor is buying fiat engine for around 1 1.5 lakh or other, otherwise we can say 150000 rupees if you say in dollars it's around like let us say $8000 okay if it is buying for $8000 again it is selling the item 
at what price it should sell it should sell why because it should it should have the profit if you are buying at 8000 and you are selling at 8000 is there any profit nothing simple so if you are buying with 8000 to sell with 10000 that means selling price is 10000 your purchase price becomes cost to the company cost of the company cost of the item in the company that is 8000 selling price minus cost that gives the profit so in this process we have requisition to be created means all the items to be mentioned in the requisition further it should go for approval Right, it's taking time. So you yeah, open the buyer, it will open the browser. That's it. so add buyer so there is no buyer if you want to find the buyer you have to enter the name how to enter if I enter the username and go okay no result found is not a buyer you are finding buyer but he is not defined as a buyer so add buyer when you add buyer it will ask you to enter the names and username and for which location or which organization so all these things it will be asked see I'm going to add the buyer is you can search but this search you can search by employee or username see the name or you can see the name is if you enter this it will show you So it's not by username, by employee name. Let us enter the employee name between percentages. Okay. Sorry. Between percentages. Go. Then, see. This is the name, right? This is the employee name. If you see there. If you see there. What is the employee name? This is the employee name. Right, Miss Bridget C. Right? So here, if you go there, you can see here. Select that. How to select? Select. That's it. So when you select, that might have got selected. For which category of items is the buyer? I want this guy to be for all categories then leave it if you want to if you want to make this guy for only one category particular category you can select category ship to it is called ship to location ship to location means branch for which branch is the buyer all the branches then leave it specific branch then select the branch as certain location then beginning date from which date is the buyer date save the record that's it like that you can add the buyer that's it okay it's already existing so it is asking please enter unique value means already he has been defined as an a as a buyer so you have to search close or search by clear the buyer is this employee go see it's already there okay that's it this is how you have to add the employees 
to be defined as buyers for certain branch or all the branches or it can be a buyer for all the categories of items or certain category of items this is what approval hierarchy then what you are going to do this hierarchy how it is going to apply to the document types we have in the purchasing if you go to setup in which we have purchasing we have document types when you go for document types it is going to open HTML form again in this HTML form What is the document type? Are you setting for purchase orders or requisitions? What kind of document? If it is a requisition, see, we have requisitions different types, internal requisition, purchase requisition, standard requisitions. See, requisition internal means internal requisition. Requisition purchase means purchase requisitions. Let me take purchase requisition. When you update, click on update. It will open that requisition purchase requisition see what is default hierarchy this is what the default hierarchy the hierarchy is the first one this is the one if you want to change it to default hierarchy this one you can change it how to simply that's it you have to copy and paste it that's it nothing much here you are going to don't forget here important thing is the forward method is direct and hierarchy this is a very important question what is direct what is hierarchy hierarchy means you have to follow this path this person approves next it goes to he is not having the limit then it goes to this guy he is not having the limit this goes to the document goes to this guy he is having that limit then document value is very high then it will go to this level and he is having unlimited so it can be approved this is what by hierarchy direct means what okay now let us say this is the buyer has prepared a document can be a requisition or a purchase order whatever it may be worth of let us say hundred thousand dollars hundred thousand that is nothing but one lakh dollars fine now he approves he is having a limit of 500 so he cannot approve so it should go to this level right but it's not going by going by hierarchy it will not go to him system identifies if the setup is if the setup is direct instead of hierarchy then system sends this document as soon as this buyer approves prepares and approves this document will check system will check whether this document can be sent to this guy system checks already what is the limit of this manager 1000 no use so system checks again with this guy what is the limit 10,000 no use so then it checks this guy approval limit this guy is having unlimited so he can approve 100,000. So, the moment he approves, system routes the document to this guy. That's it. He negl system neglects this guy and this guy because even though system forwards the document to this guy, he cannot approve. He approves and it will go to this guy. If he approves, this, this, that document will go to this guy. That is what as per hierarchy. But if it is direct, forward method as direct, then system itself identify the person the position which one is having highest document limit that system routes the document from buyer buyer to the final person that's it your time will be saved hierarchy you have to get the approval from all the persons okay this is what may then how it is going to be auto created workflow this is how auto create function is working this is based on this workflow okay we are going to discuss what is this setup okay now cancel or go back now let us see for purchase order there is a purchase order where is that standard 
patches where is patches are the standard okay this is the one let us click on this see here also default hierarchy forward method hierarchy what is the workflow for purchase orders what is the approval workflow pure approval workflow it's very very important question owner can approve approval can modify can change forward to can change approval hierarchy means while approving the document if you enable this can change if you are the approver you can change forward to you can neglect this guy simply if you enable that for this guy so while forward while approving you will forward to this guy you will neglect this guy you will even you can forward to this guy also but he has to do manually in case it is direct not by hierarchy then system routes the document to the person who is having a position that position is having a limit of approval more than the document value that is the important point here okay that's it you have any questions tell me guys yes. hello yes uh, in the buyer uh, you said right uh, uh, if it is null the sync to location it will be applicable for all the locations suppose i am at i want to give it to a buyer only two locations how we can define that it cannot be two locations okay either it can be one that's it or blank all locations when a buyer okay. for one location buyer mostly one location or all locations so only two options in case if you want to two then from the same department you have to identify two people one person can be for one location another person can be for another location that's it one to one this is one that field is only one and username cannot be duplicated so one person will have only one username and have only one zip to location and if you want to give all the locations then leave it blank that's it any more questions from anybody new from your side if you are if you are not having questions yeah mohan uh, this is shrimas i have one question like uh, can we see the graphical view of the uh, position hierarchy that uh, which we have created in the oracle system that hierarchy you can see whenever there is a document whenever you get an error like or or approved any document let us say in the purchase order let us take one purchase order when you open the purchase order let us say status says i want to see the approved documents mm -hmm. then find it will call all the approved pivots then how it has been approved how those pivots have been approved that you can see from the hierarchy that is from enquire you can enquire how this document has been approved and you want to see the workflow structure how it has been then you can enquire go to workflow path then that will that will show you the complete structure of hierarchy were all involved by position so once you get the I should have taken this one employee one position one purchase order number we have created purchase order here i have one purchase order the po is okay this is the po okay the test to come so if you don't give any result so it will take time to fetch the data to show you if you have the number then you can enter the number so that you will get the results quickly so it is searching all the system right now because you have not entered by approved status or all, what are all the purchase orders have been approved it is going to search Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and the best method is log out and log out close it now reopen that is the best method After opening the application, I don't want bills of material. I'm discussing purchasing switch responsibility to the purchasing module. Now, purchase order summary. I have my purchase order number right now. Clear. Enter the number. Fine. Press tab, then find. When you find, it will open. It has been approved or what? Let us see. It's approved. Go to enquire. If you want to see your action history, it is going to show you where is approved one by one. If this has gone from here to here, here to here, and here to here, then finally here, this will show you all the names here. Okay. The first person who submitted and who has approved and who has closed. Final up to that. If 10 people are there, 10 persons will be here. 10 person names will be there okay and apart from this you want to see the workflow you approved workflow through so then you can see when you click here it will open the HTML form where is it Is supposed to come like this okay let me show you so what is this PR any document whether it's a requisition or purchase or a similar way clear requisition number in case it is approved it won't show you in case it is in process it will show you it is also approved. Let me take one thing. Close this. I want to show you purchase order. And clear. I think. So status by in process. And create it. It will take time if I don't enter the dates let me take from 2014 june 1st not june 1st it is from let me take it is from december i will take oh but december december 1st to to till today's data fine not a problem then let us find no records okay no people has been the question has been created if there is no data we can't do anything so let me take any in process it takes time that is the reason i'm yeah, it is there okay okay something is there now inquire see how many people have he has approved approved finally it is approved okay it is the structure but still it is not approved go to enquire i want to see here now it is in process so it is going to show you the structure completely po approval top process this is the workflow you assigned in the document types have you seen that now if you expand this okay now this is the owned by this this person right now okay in case participant responses you want to see or status diagram you want to see you can click here
okay status diagram will be shown here this is what if you see this is what okay everything will be shown here this is the path and you says status everything will be shown and notify any notification participant responses you can see here when you click here so this is the participant what are the responses you can see then workflow details if you want to see these are the workflow details all this information will be here okay whenever you get a problem whenever you get a problem while approving the document this is a very important question i have the hierarchy i have prepared the purchase order but it is going to a loop it's not getting approved instead it is going to in process finally incomplete or in, in process something is going wrong because it's not getting approved what could be the reason it's a simple question how you are going to handle that's what he would like to know that is the reason it's putting the question saying that the document is not getting approved i don't know the reason how you are going to drill down how you are going to resolve first one first run the concurrent request this is the thumb rule fill employee hierarchy send notifications for the PO documents then from system administrator you have to run synchronized workflow local tables next still it's not working then you have to inquire go to workflow then you have to open this page then you have to drill down it will show you all the errors in case something is going wrong this is very helpful it's going to show you full details of that particular document that's what workflow details you will go then participant responses status diagram activity in case it is error it will show you what is the error see okay status error and all these things will be shown here this is what this is how you drill down or you sort out the issue with respect to the purchasing or position hierarchies okay that's it next question anybody else Yeah, Mohan, this is Rohan. I have a question. Yeah, Rohan. Uh, will we use this forward method direct and hierarchy uh, in real time? Pardon? Forward method direct and uh, hierarchy in real time. Real time. Whatever we discussed, that is real time only. I told you the reason. When you don't want, yeah, when you don't want to follow the path direct, you have to system identifies the person who is having the limit of approval more than the document value that time. So that is real time only it's no purpose simply we are having 10 people and each person is having a limit of 1000 10000 20000 40000 and you prepared the document of 1 lakh simply want to follow the path then follow hierarchy and you don't want to follow the path and you don't want to waste the time simply system should route the document the moment you approve should go to the person who is having a limit of more than one lakh that's it system will go to the system will route the document to that person that's it next question uh, i want to say uh, you said right uh, that objects when you are defining a position will we will assign the value with respect to objects uh, is those uh, objects can be still more ordered or is it from the standard system? I didn't get your question. See, the, we have an object right, like document total, item category range, location, document total, account range. Okay, okay. Tell me. So, with, with respect to that objects, we will define the uh, value. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, it, only those objects are there or we can predefine our uh, objects as well. No, as of now only the, these things available, and in case objects can be uh, can be defined, but we have to find out and which value set uh, that is having and what is that value set. We have to find out. It's possible, not a problem. But these are the as of now I didn't say more than these these objects have been used. Only document total or item category or location. That's it. Account range. 
these are the five mostly they have used i have not seen more than this but definitely you can define whatever the value you are getting that is from value set only you identify the value set and you can define definitely it will be coming from lookups and you can have lookups or the standard objects are there then definitely you can define Any more questions? That's it. Uh